when they know they operating in the spirit. Listen, they want to make you feel bound up, obligated, and loyal to them. He or she will manipulate you and play mind games to force or keep that connection or tie with you where you are feeling fearful to leave, you feeling guilty to leave, you feeling bad to leave, to let them go and detach yourself. They'll make you feel bad about that. They'll make you feel guilty. Again, it's about that dependency and having full control. You know, the Bible says, who the son says free is free indeed. Nobody should ever make you feel bound or, or, or to the point where, where you can't make a decision. They still shouldn't control you. They still shouldn't control you. Listen, number 18, this spirit will try to silence you. It will have you fearful, timid, and afraid to speak up for yourself. Listen to this. Or to address anything with the person operating in this spirit because of their evil demeanor. Their evil character and actions. My God, y'all got to hear this on tonight. I'm telling you, I know when I see this spirit. Listen to me. When somebody has a Jezebel spirit, don't you dare challenge them. That's how they mad thinking. Don't you dare challenge me. I know I know you ain't challenging me. I, I, I know you're not finna question <clears throat> what I just did. I, I know you're not. That's how that spirit is feeling. Like, uh-uh. Listen. They dare you to do that. See, once you start challenging this spirit, once and even if they're in error and you want to tell them, they don't want you challenging them. Now you become their enemy when you challenge a Jezebel spirit. I'm talking about in a man or a woman. And I'm telling you, I've seen that spirit in, in men just as bad. It can be just as bad in a man than it is for a woman. People talk about the Jezebel spirit in a woman. It can be just as evil in a man. I'm telling you, listen. This spirit will try to silence you. And I, I, and I want to tie this in on this part because Jezebel hates prophets. Listen to me, you guys. The spirit of Jezebel hates prophets. I can bag it up in the scripture. Jezebel killed off a lot of the Lord's prophets. Because why? I said in the beginning, that spirit hates truth. That spirit don't want to be exposed because that spirit is all about them. It's all about getting them where they got to be. It's all about giving them the recognition. It's all about doing what they want you to do. Listen, listen. Number 19, this spirit will have your life dysfunctional, unstable, and chaotic. Let me tell you something. I told you in the beginning, this spirit really don't want to see you grow. This spirit want to see you stunt. It want to see you stuck. It do not want to see you progress. Even though they want you to think, even though they their actions make you think they care about you, their actions make, make you think they want to see you advance in life. No, 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 no. If you deal with a person with this spirit, you're going to have a dysfunctional life. It's going to be unstable and chaotic. Number 20, this spirit subtly breathes and trains up others to operate with the same evil spirit, to be like them, to continue that vicious cycle. Do you know when people operate with the spirit of Jezebel, they're grooming other little, other little Jezzies behind them, other little Jezebels under them, so they can do what they do, so they can keep that cycle going? Number 21. I put for number 21, how could I forget this one? He or she always plays the victim or is the victim in a situation always reminding you who wronged them or hurt them? They love pity and don't say it. They love pity, but they don't say it. So they always the victim. They always the victim. In every situation, they're always the victim. They never wrong. It's always somebody else. They want to play victim. They want you to feel sorry for them. They want to play the pity card on you. Number 22, this is my last one. I won't be long. They are always right and you are wrong. You, you never right. When you're dealing with a person with a Jezebel spirit, you always wrong. They're always right. They always right. Even, even if you try to confront this person and show them evidence, they, they always right. They're going to tell you wrong. If you challenge this spirit, he or she will not like it 
and they hate it. If they do admit their wrongdoing, it won't be often. So don't look for it to happen. Because remember, they operate in pride and false humility. So I just wanted to talk about these things that the Lord gave me about the spirit of Jezebel and operation. So I just want to pray on tonight. I just want to pray that if anything I said tonight, if your eyes was open, listen, there are people walking in fear. There are people right now that are walking in fear. I don't, I don't know if it's with a relationship, if it's in a ministry, whatever, whatever it is. Let me tell you something. God wants you free. God wants your mind free. The only person that should have control of our mind is Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Nobody should have control of your mind. Nobody should have control of your thoughts. Nobody should control your going and coming but God. But God. Listen, and, and, and even to break this down, even if you're married, you know, out of respect, I understand that a husband and wife may, you know, tell each other things, they, they share things, but nobody should be controlling you. Nobody should be controlling your life but God. People will try to bind you up. They will try to use you and throw things that they did for you, you know, which is not of God. That's manipulation. That's witchcraft, you guys. That's a form of witchcraft when people want to keep you bound up. When they want to keep you bound up, you guys, that's not, that's not of God. And I just want to share that. I pray that something that I said has blessed you. In Jesus' name, you have a blessed night.